welcome to Coffee Talk. We're so excited to be here today with Tina Drake and Debbie Crawford. We have some great, exciting adventures to talk about today. We're going to start, of course, we've had so many people discuss the national and international days and how much fun they were. So we decided to look at months. What is going on in October that uh, is coming up or has already been? And then what is coming up in November? And we would just love to share with you guys and have some fun. What did you think was the funniest one? Well, there's some really odd ones like bat month of the year. Or, it's October, which is perfect for yeah. Halloween. We were like, bat month? That's just honor bats or whatever. It's kind of odd, but if you like bats, then you know that there are people out there thinking about bats. So that was kind and of actually, cool. actually... Bats are very good for your insect control. They are. You know, I know my dad always built a bat house. Yeah. And it was just a wooden thing, and they had a bat. And then they ended up getting, anyways, never mind. They ended up getting in the <laughs> attic, so the bat house had to go. Dad, sorry, I had to tell everybody that. <laughs> well, they had bats in the wrong house. <laughs> right. They, they decided to take residence. It wasn't big enough, so they right. went, no, they went out. But it was, it is neat to think about month, bat month in October. And there was my favorite is Teacher, World Teacher Month. Yes. And that is, or the day, that one was a day and it was October 5th. So congratulations to all your teachers out there. You have a wonderful day to recognize you. That is. I, we always need to recognize oh, our yeah. teachers. I don't think teachers are uh, honored. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think they get what they need. So that's right. a good one. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. So what was coming up in November? This was funny. I can't remember the November one. remember? Well, I know that November yeah. was national, and this one isn't funny, but it's Alzheimer's Month. Oh, that's right. That's right. That we can recognize all those caregivers. Yeah, and that one's really important. It is, because it's very difficult. The disease is oh. very difficult to deal with. Yeah. But just to recognize them, if you, have a, if you have a caregiver that is dealing with an Alzheimer's or dementia patient, Give them a call in November and say thank you for yeah. taking care of those people. Yeah, because they're dealing with a lot of stuff you don't know about. Right. What was the funny one? I can't remember. You told me of a funny one in November that was just so hilarious. I can't remember, but it was fun. Well, we'll move on while she's looking at it. This something <laughs> for fun. We don't want to. We don't want to keep you guys on that. We want to keep you entertained. One of the most exciting parts or portions of Coffee Talk now for me is our love section and so I'm gonna take over on the love section for Debbie for just a minute and oh, oh she's got it up hold on oh November <laughs> is banana pudding lovers month banana pudding if you love banana pudding make it in November maybe that's because of Thanksgiving it could be it could be yeah I love Thanksgiving because I like to eat <laughs> I like any pie I'm, I'm really bad I know it doesn't look like I eat a lot of pie, but let me tell you. I love pie. If I make a chocolate pie and there's nobody there, I'll eat half of it. Well, we had pumpkin pie for Darian's birthday because she don't, she's like us. She loves pie. And so it was fun. I love pie. So we have Banana Pudding Lovers Month, and we right. also have, you know, Family Stories Month. So you can tell family stories around, you know, maybe the table at dinner. Those, I love those days. You know, I think, I think they're fun. I think that's awesome to sit down at the table with your family and eat dinner. Turn off the cell phones, you know, right. put them away during dinner. You will find out so much about your kids. You may, well, you may want them to have their cell phones after you find out some of the stuff, but, <laughs> but you find out a lot about your kids. You do. When you sit down and eat dinner with them and you talk, you ask about their right. friends, you know, did somebody do something crazy at lunch or you'll find out a lot. That's true. Which will take us into our love section. And yes. I was actually beginning that while ago, and then she brought that up. <laughs> I, the vocabulary word for me today and for, uh, for our coffee talk for Debbie and I, we decided it was honor. Yeah. And the word honor, you know, by de definition means to care and to actually aha or, or exemplify and illuminate something or someone. Oh, right. And so when you talk about love and you talk about illuminating someone else and honoring them, sitting down at the table would be a moment that you could show honor to your children, right. show honor to you, and show honor to your loved ones. That's that time to sit down. And honoring in a relationship to me and, and to anybody is the most important part because it's that time. But you know, people don't know how to honor each other anymore. They struggle. They, they don't know how, they don't know what to say, what to do. So give them one example. 
Okay, I'm, I'm Just glad you said at that. At least one example. So we have our cell phone and you brought that conversation up. And I don't know about you, but I go into a restaurant and I sit and watch people because I love people. I love all people. I, I really do. Sometimes I walk around and ask them questions. <laughs> she does. If we go in a restaurant and she shows up, if you don't want to be talked to, you better go ahead and just you skip out right. because we're going to talk to you. We are going to find out what sh everything about your life and how do you honor people. <laughs> but when you're sitting at a table and you're having a dinner, a family dinner, at my home, we put the cell phones away. Right. We honor that time. We honor that food that's going to nourish our bodies. But in a relationship, to show you an example, when you're out to eat on a date with somebody that you care about, I don't care if it's, you know, a loved one or, or a lover or just your friend, you still love those people too. Put your cell phone and turn it upside down. I had a great friend of mine, I met her in Kansas, and I remember I would look at my phone or I would take pictures because she's doing great things with movies and I just wanted to capture that moment. And her exact words to me, and this, is we, this was our first time ever hanging out. And she said, I always would like to just be with you. And I, I paused just like that for a moment. And I said, well, you are with me. You're taking me on great adventures. She said, but all you can do is take a picture and post it. And that is going to lead us straight into our <laughs> next topic. But it was true. And I have truly tried to honor that thought. Not that she cared. Right. She was not mad at me or anything. But Jen just said, think about what you're doing and what message you're sending to other people that want to right. be with you. They want to honor you. And they can't. And they sometimes. can't. I know that in Facebook, you've heard me talk about this, when I was sick, I could spend hours scrolling. And I do care what people are doing. And I'm not one of those people that's going to ever post it or say, if y'all don't quit posting about your life, I, I do care. I wouldn't even look at Facebook. However, I did forget to honor who I was with instead of capturing the moment in my mind and making a memory and creating honor for them as well as for me. Right. And I, I think if we, if we go back to the fact that like our grandmothers would say, um, if you talk on the telephone when you have company, you disrespect the person in the home that's very visiting. Very good. Very um, good. If you get a phone call, you, you can answer it and say, I'm sorry, I'm with someone. I'll give you a call back later. Or you just turn it off and you don't answer it at all. Because right. when you're with someone and you're doing something else, you're really not with them. You're, you're, you're not. No, you're really not there. So you need to... You know, and like a quick picture, I mean, Debbie's constantly telling me, <laughs> take a selfie real quick with whoever you're with. I get that. And, right. I, and I have well, it progressively attempted to make sure that I get right. one, maybe two pictures. I know that we just had a birthday party for both of right. my girls. Right. And I even went back and looked, and at, f at first I was kind of sad. I was like, oh, I didn't get as many pictures. <laughs> However... I you, did get enough to know who was there. Yes, and you built a relationship. And I built a relationship, and I honored their time with me. Right. Well, like this weekend, um, on Friday, mm -hmm. was it Friday or Wednesday? It was Wednesday. We had some friends come to town, mm -hmm. and I've known them for a long time. So what we did was we went into a, a business, and we visited the business for a minute. We came out, we took a selfie. And we didn't take any more the rest of the day. Exactly. So we did, got that out of the way, got that done, mm -hmm. so that everybody knew that there was someone really cool in town. But then there were no more pictures taken. Right. My phone was turned off, and we talked the whole time. And I know when I began working in, uh, you know, writing in the newspaper and any kind of journalism, I remember people would run. You know, I would walk in the door and I'd be like, hi, everybody. And I was so accustomed to everybody being like, hi, Tina. They'd be like, oh, no, here she comes again. And so later, <laughs> gonna ask questions. they did, they did. And so that's now I honor their privacy. Right. I always did. But now they know I do. Right. Because I've established that I'm going to take a picture and you're going to choose what you're going to choose, which one you love. Right. And then we're done. And we're just going to write what you want people to know. Yes. And, and that is... Uh, you know, well, with the, with the news, a lot of times people don't write what the person wants portrayed of them. They look for the bad and the ugly and the right. you know. So it, once people realize you're out to improve, exactly, their 
and honor them. They're per yes, and and what's in the community, then they are a little better about doing things. So we'll move from that. But just remember when you watch Coffee Talk that our vocabulary word for today was honor, and we want you to honor those around you, honor yes. your loved ones, honor your friends, yep. honor your coworkers, yeah. and don't forget honor yourself. Oh, by it's all means very important that you honor yourself as sometimes well. turn the phone off and just don't answer right it. <laughs> take a hot bath I don't care what you do but honor yourself and, was, and present that I was sitting in the living room one day and, and my daughter came to visit and I had the laptop out and I was working on a project there I had the cell phone open and I was using some of the text from an email that I had gotten to add to what I was doing on the laptop and then I had the iPad open <laughs> because I was working <laughs> on another project on it with somebody else and she walked in she goes mom doesn't that drive you crazy and I said well at this moment I feel like I've been assimilated right <laughs> I mean and there, and there are times I just turn it all off and I don't pick it up I'm just exactly. like no you can't find me I'm take a little break but you'll come back and refreshed and right. wonderful. Same with the family dinners. Yeah. When it's over, it doesn't oh. take forever. I know that no. at Christmas one year I said no cell phones for a little while. I just need a break, you know, and, and everybody honored that request. Yeah. And then later we came back and even laughed about it because <laughs> everybody was sneaking around. Yeah. Oh, what's the ball game? <laughs> yeah. You know, but, but they still honored that and, and I appreciate it and we make great memories. Right. So life is about making great memories. Yes. I, don't know, I get a little emotional. But. Well, it's a, you build when you build a relationship. If you don't have that emotional attachment with that per, with that grandchild or that child, who are they going to go to when they're having an issue right. or they have a an important decision to make? Do you really want them to go to their friends at school sometimes right. to figure out things? But if their friends make them feel honored, honored, yes, they will find those people exactly. And I had a happy coaching class this week. Uh, we will talk about that later. But I had a happy coaching that this week, and I can tell this because I'm not going to tell you who it was. <laughs> yeah, don't but I remember, I remember the response that I had. And she said, "You know what? What do I need to do to improve everyone around me?" And I said, "Of course, you need to start with yourself. Oh, yeah. However, it's how you make people feel of to whether they want to be around you." That's what they will remember, your grandchildren, your wife, your husband. How you make them feel will be the memory they have. And we had a conversation today <laughs> about a man that's very successful. We're not going to tell you who it is, but there was a man talking to us today. And by chance, he brought up this conversation and he wasn't damaged, Hello. but he remembers that moment in time where someone felt made him feel dishonored or less than. Yes. In fifth grade. Uh, I thought that was so touching. You know, that's another thing to remember. When you talk, I always tell people you either build a bridge or burn a bridge when you right. talk. Right. Now that's in my book. Well, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so when you're, when you're talking to someone, let's say they're not able to do something. Right. Whether it's a talent or, or not, you know, they don't have any... Uh, ability to pat their head and rub their stomach and four or five other people do how do you tell them right you don't how do you tell them that they would be better suited for something else or how do you encourage someone to um, follow a goal mm -hmm. you know without hurting their feelings sometimes some people you have to be blunt with right I mean my daughter obviously don't hint around she's like Spock <laughs> I'm sorry Amanda <laughs> she's, she's very is. She's very on it. You know, you, you have to just be straight up with her. But you and have to honor Amanda for yes. the fact of her conversation is, just tell me the truth. Yes. I don't, she's kind of like she's Donald. A, <laughs> she, uh, she she's doesn't a want person. She yeah. doesn't want fake news. She doesn't want fake emotion. And she right. doesn't want fake encouragement. Right. She wants facts. facts. Just just tell me, and then tell me what right. to do to fix it. That's all I need to know. She's like, good, okay. But then there's other people that are very soft-hearted. And you have to either say, you know, have you have you thought about looking at this, or have you thought right. about that? And you can't make people do things. No. But you can encourage them in a nice way, and if they feel like you said honored, they're going to come back for your advice. Right. And there's, especially with your kids and grandkids, who do you want them to go to when they need to figure something out? Right. You want to e keep those communications lines Ooh, open. Yeah. And how grandma or mom or whoever you are in their life, if you're their teacher, right. how you have made them feel will determine how 
if you can guide them and, yeah. or you know if you crush them so it's it, it is great and it makes me always excited to think about honoring other people and and their thoughts and their feelings and make them feel terrific about being with you and and how awesome that they are i get excited when i see especially kids when i tutor them or something and they think they can't do something and then you help them along and you show them how to do it and when they realize they can do it Hey, I'm good. I'm like, hey, that'll, that'll, that'll hold me for a couple of months. <laughs> right, right. I don't have to have a big success. I just have to. Exactly. It doesn't take a big success. No. That is so funny because you said that. I was just thinking, you know, it's, it's unique because my husband and I have been married 25 years this year. Celebrate good times. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm not a singer, am I? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm okay. No, but it, it's something when I write in, the, in my blog. Mm -hmm. One thing I've recognized, and I am bragging, so Eric probably won't watch this, but if he does, and all his friends do watch this, he honors when I come home. He really does. He and does. And when I go back with him to Kansas, he's waiting for me. Sometimes he has flowers. Sometimes he just has supper cooked. Sometimes he just has the entire apartment clean, and he's just standing at the stop, top of the steps, and he's excited to always see me. And I do the same to him, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, if you think about honoring, I know kids need to be honored, grandkids need to be honored, but who you love, show them that you love them when you see them. Well, I have, my grandmother has, she always had a great that saying for anything. Right. And she would always say that, you know, with family, you treat family better than you treat your company. Exactly. If you set the table for company, why didn't you set it for your family? Exactly. Why would you set a pan of food in the middle of the table and say dinner's ready or leave it on the stove? Why isn't it in a bowl? Why aren't there plates set? Exactly. You know, you, you honor your loved one. You make, you make a statement when you do that. Exactly. So that's pretty neat. Well, well, we're talking about all of this. <laughs> we're going to move on a little bit, but there is a reason. And I think it's so it, kind of unique that we didn't even plan that part. But right. it's going to roll right into it because I'm going to tell you something. And I haven't even told you this. Oh, no. The honoring word sometimes can be very negative and not in honor when you're on Facebook. Yeah. And we're not here to bash at all, but maybe here to focus you on thinking before you post, oh. thinking before you like. And I'm going to let Debbie take this right. over. That's why she's sitting around. Wait a minute. Wait. No, no, but she's no, right. She, you know, she has made me aware so much of social media. And Debbie knows, and most of you probably know, I'm not real good at it. I just, I don't keep up. You do fine at it. But I do better now because you've taught me some ins and some outs and, and you've given me very good advice in how to honor those people that I do adore on Facebook right. and to not illuminate the ones I don't. I, but she does no. keep me in line on social media. So just so you know. Just from experience and from dealing with all the different media things that we do here, um, we handle several different Facebook accounts and stuff, so you just have to remember when you're on Facebook, if you like something, that counts as validation. As validation. If you share a post that you totally disagree with and you think is crazy or it's, it's off the wall or it's not accurate, that's validation. Now, that's where sometimes uh, people are like, well, I don't like that. I don't like what they said. I don't, that's not accurate or that's not, that's not good. Can you believe they said that? And then they share it to their page and then they title it. I can't believe they did that. I can't believe they're talking about it. I can't believe they said that. That's still validation. Right. Because that counts on their stuff. So if there's a company or if there's an individual that is saying things that you don't agree with, if you share it or comment on it, you're validated and you're you're shining light on it you're yeah. making it bigger you're kind of like stirring yeah. the poop yeah she if does handle I want to tell her <laughs> and, you know I'm just gonna be honest with you because everybody needs to know I did not know that there were people people that are very well educated on Facebook and will handle your accounts to, if you need it for your business and Kentucky Anna News and Bridging the Gap Productions does offer that service. Uh, yeah, we do. And I use her service. Sometimes I do my own personal crazy things and honestly, I'm just going to tell you guys this. <laughs> she really does call me and say, take that off. <laughs> well, I don't, 
I don't say take it off. I'm just like, <laughs> she'll, she'll say take it down. Or she'll say, did you really mean to share that? So I want to slide this in. It's not to say anything about Debbie because this oh, yes, is funny. Is. No, this is funny <laughs> truth. When you were telling that and you were telling everybody about what, you know, if you like and you share and you validate, I was thinking, do you remember <laughs> one time I shared a video and it was cute. It was the cutest little smiley. Some of you probably saw it. And it was blowing a kiss. And I didn't know there was a message behind it. <laughs> she didn't. I didn't. Luckily, we were okay. But I saw this less than, I think it was a week ago. I was out in Kansas, I was looking through. And this girl posted just like I did. She shared a video that was beautiful music. Wait till you hear this. The end of this was like all foul language. They were cussing about the president. Oh, she actually wow. was called by her boss and said, did you mean to post this? And she said, yeah, I thought that was a beautiful song. And it had, and it did. It was, I can't remember what it was, but it was like sisters and right. family and it was beautiful. But she didn't watch it all. And I have done that so many, you've called oh, me about it. Yeah. And I have done that, everybody. I'm not, I'm not criticizing her because she no. took it off immediately. And it's not, really right. your, it's not really your fault in a way because they did that to trick you. Obviously, to get their message out there. But what if she had shared it? But you're responsible exactly. for what's on your page at the same time. Exactly. So I know I posted yesterday just a girl that had danced 155 pounds off, and her video was amazing. But you want to know? You have taught me. I watched the entire thing. Yeah. I it really did. I know that sounds like a lot to do, but if, if you don't, you could get something right. on there. You, you could don't. And you just validated them by sharing it to your page. So. And, and you didn't take time to read it or to look right. at it or anything right. like that. You guys, you can that you can share my blog anytime. I don't say anything bad on there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anytime you don't want to read it all, it's very wordy. <laughs> there's there's nothing at the end of hers that will Never. shock or blow your pants Never. off. Never. And if it gets attached, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't. It should on Facebook. No, 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 no not on it Facebook. Shouldn't. Or WordPress. So, but yeah. you know. Just think about what you're saying uh, yes. and how you are honoring others and yourself because social media has kind of opened up such a new world for all yeah. of us and it, like I said it, it's not like Tina and I discussing something when you share or comment on a post yeah you've told the whole world and you have validated that person or right. entity so that's the things that you really need to be careful about it's very it's, very much so it's hard to separate the two sometimes so I don't know it is this has been fun. Oh, I always have a ball. So we've gone over some national months, and yep. there are bunches. We did not. <laughs> we would oh, love. No. We would probably do an entire coffee talk because we think they're so funny. We spend like forever looking for them, but yeah, yeah they are fun. So we had, this is National Bat Month. Well, uh, October is. National October Bat is, month. And, and next month is several. You can look them up. National Banana about Pudding. Yeah, and Alzheimer's Month. So yeah. Tell your caregivers how much you love them. Yeah. And then of course we've talked about honor and honoring each other. Honoring people, honoring yourself. If you're honoring yourself, there is no way you can really intentionally dishonor someone. That's right. And, you know, when we talk about honoring people, I know we told you to turn your cell phones off. If you're going into a lunch meeting or you're sitting down with your kids or whatever, you can say, now I am expecting a very important call. Yes. That was um, a good point. Because there are times. Sure. I, I know there's been times that I've worked with companies in Louisville and I'm waiting for them to call back because something's not working quite right or we're trying to figure out how to how to do something and I have to make that call because we have to work on that immediately when they call okay when you do this or that and I will say I'm expecting one call right as long as it's not them we're, I'm, I'm not gonna answer the phone and when it goes off I look at it and go oh no it's not them now what were you doing and we continue our conversation but they're not offended because as soon as we sat down I said now this is great. We have an issue at the office, so, and if I get a call, I have to take it, but I'll make it really quick. So now we've added um, National Month, yep. Honor, Love, and Cell Phone Etiquette. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. That was truly an amazing, because yeah. I can say, I've talked to several friends, and I can say, you know what? If you really want to be on Facebook, then don't come to lunch with me. It, well, and sometimes you have to do. Now, that's another thing. Sometimes, but, you know, that's the same thing. You're saying, like, you tell them up front. Well, some people don't realize. I mean, we're so into our phones nowadays that everybody just assumes the other person is, too. Very good. Well, they're focused on what you're saying and what you're doing. 
when you're scrolling on Facebook. So sometimes you have to, as a person, say, you know, can, can, we, can we leave Facebook alone until right. we get finished? I, I want to talk to you about something. Yeah, and we're not bashing any social media because oh, we no. love them, obviously. No. We we're, both we're love Facebook. Saying, we yeah. love social media. <laughs> or searching on the Internet for stuff. It's just, right. you know, when you're with somebody, sometimes you, they don't realize they're engulfed in that phone doing searching on whatever and you just have to say you have to say, look I'm go you know I really enjoy having lunch with you can we leave Facebook or can we leave the internet out or can we just turn our phones right. off for a little while yeah. and sometimes they go oh yeah sure because they didn't realize that they were scrolling on the internet I did not realize it until I was actually requested I mean it. Christmas time I did you know I right. asked that of my family but that was just because I was trying to honor the holiday you know, and, and be our family time because you never know. Every no. year is different. Yeah. You know, every kids move and you oh, never, yeah. well, every time you get them all together. But yeah. until that friend and I were doing something great and she told me, I was fine with it. I wasn't mad, but I did think about it a lot. Right. And then, well, if you're like me. It was me, like in my brain. Then you think, oh, did I do that before to somebody that didn't say anything? I did. You know, so that's where I would go with it. I was consumed. I remember, you know, and I want to make sure that we add this in. Yes. So our next coffee talk, I want to talk about history of events or things that have come into your life that you remember saying, no way. Now we're going to do it today because <laughs> we don't have time. And Debbie and I could record for hours and hours and you guys would be bored to death. <laughs> but not today. Okay. But next time, remind me of that because that just, we're talking about cell phones and how kids, you know, have them now and how when we were growing up that was obsolete. Oh, so good Lord. We were attached to the later. wall. I know. Yeah, we our, had so much fun. Our phones didn't come off the wall. Yeah, I remember that. But we'll talk about that <laughs> later. And then, of course, honor everyone. Honor the people around you. And remember what you share and how you go. Wow. Please remember that one. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to love and care for all those around you and yourself. As always, we thank you for watching.